2011 H-1 Unlimited Air National Guard hydroplane season produced more than the usual number of thrills and spills. When the final rooster tail settled, the sport had a new all-time winningest driver. A newcomer had scored a sensational rookie season. Several teams and drivers could look back on a very successful run through one of the most successful seasons in unlimited hydroplane racing history. The kickoff race for the 2011 Air National Guard Tour featured the 61st annual running of the Lucas Oil Indiana Governor's Cup at Madison, Indiana. Oh boy, Oberto, Miss Madison, the local favorite, took first place, but at a very high price. After three laps of the final heat, Oberto and Steve David were close behind and on the inside of Dave Vilwak and Spirit of Qatar. Vilwak spun out directly in front of David in the first turn of lap four, resulting in Vilwak's disqualification. Oh boy, Oberto unavoidably ran over the Qatar, narrowly missing the cockpit area. Oberto rolled over in midair and came down upright. Neither driver was seriously injured, but both boats sustained major damage. David and the hometown team were declared the winner as per the H1 Unlimited rulebook. The 102nd running of the APBA Gold Cup presented by the Detroit Yacht Club saw Dave Vilwak score his ninth victory in that famous series on the Detroit River. This put him one ahead of the late Bill Muncy. Only the retired Chip Hanauer with 11 Gold Cup wins has more. Two of the three boats damaged the week before at Madison, the U96 and the 21, made the scene at Detroit. The Oh Boy Oberto Miss Madison team leased a backup hull from the Mike Jones organization and hired relief driver John Zimmerman to fill in while Steve David convalesced. A heroic rebuild effort by the Elstrom team with a big assist from Ed Cooper and friends in Evansville, Indiana had the 96 back on the water. Billwalk and Spirit of Qatar jumped to an early lead in the Gold Cup finale and were never headed, finishing a mile ahead of the rest of the field. J. Michael Kelly was physically second with the brand new Degree Man 88, but received a one lap penalty for encroachment and officially finished fourth. Jeff Bernard in Graham Trucking battled with Scott Liddicote in Valken.com for several laps before Liddicote overtook Bernard on lap four and took second place behind the front running Spirit of Qatar and the penalized Degree Man. Driver Dave Vilwak and owner Eric Elstrom made it two victories in a row on the Air National Guard Hydroplane Series Tour with Spirit of Qatar at Kennewick, Pasco, Richland, Washington. Vilwak and Elstrom took first place in the Tri-Cities Lamb Weston Columbia Cup three weeks after their triumph in the APBA Gold Cup at Detroit. Fourteen unlimited teams, the largest turnout of the year, attended the 46th annual Tri-Cities race. These included the Oh Boy Oberto Miss Madison and driver Steve David, making their first appearance since the crash a month earlier at Madison. The Oberto team's presence at the Tri-Cities was made possible by a round-the-clock repair effort led by crew chief Mike Hansen. Oh Boy Oberto led out of the first turn in the final heat and stayed in front for three full laps. Spirit of Qatar passed Oberto at the start of lap four and went on to claim the victory. Dave Vilwak thus accomplished a grand slam for the weekend, finishing first in all four heats entered, in addition to being fastest qualifier at a speed of 160.892 on the two and a half mile Columbia River course. Steve David and the Oh Boy Oberto Miss Madison scored their second victory of 2011 in the 61st annual Seattle Seafair Albert Lee Cup on Lake Washington. They snapped the two-race winning streak of Dave Vilwak and Spirit of Qatar, which finished third at Seattle. The warm-up period, the race before the race, proved crucial in the final heat of the Albert Lee Cup. Oh boy, Oberto pilot David timed his start differently than the others. Oberto grabbed the inside lane at the one-minute mark, thereby forcing the other boats to run a wider and longer track. Oberto hit the starting line at full speed and never looked back. 
quoting Falcon.com pilot Scott Liddicote, Steve leapfrogged right around us. That was a pretty good move on his part. Liddicote and Vilwalk battled head-to-head for second place until lap three, when Liddicote pulled a rooster tail length ahead of Vilwalk, who was experiencing mechanical issues. The first three boats crossed the finish line two rooster tails apart. The outcome was in doubt right down to the last 10 seconds of the race. The fifth stop on the 2011 Tour, the Air National Guard Championship at San Diego signaled a return to victory lane by Dave Vilwak and Spirit of Qatar. This was Vilwak's ninth victory on Mission Bay, which is more than twice as many as Chip Hanauer, who has four. Ten teams attended the 44th annual H1 Unlimited event in San Diego, which hosted its first race in 1964. For 2011, the competing boats were given lane assignments on the basis of random draw, rather than by total points. For the final heat, Miss Red Dot and Kip Brown had lane one. Pillwalk and Spirit of Qatar started in lane two. Spirit of Qatar led out of the first turn and throughout. Miss Red Dot stayed within Qatar's rooster tail length all five laps. Oh boy, Oberto, Miss Madison started in lane five, but worked up to third place. Bill Walk clinched the 2011 Drivers' Championship, his first since 2007 and his 10th since 1996. For only the third time in their history, the Unlimited Hydroplanes plied their spectacular trade in a location far removed from their traditional Western Hemisphere setting, with a race in the Middle East at Doha, Qatar. The 2011 Oryx Cup UIM World Championship provided plenty of competitive action for the fans, but will likely be remembered more for its unexpected outcome. Steve David and oh boy Oberto Miss Madison crossed the finish line first ahead of Scott Liddicote in Falcon.com, Dave Vilwalk in Spirit of Qatar, J. Michael Kelly in Degree Men, Jeff Bernard in Graham Trucking, Greg Hopp in Leland Unlimited, and Jimmy Shane in FormulaBoats.com in that order. Then it was determined that David, Vilwak, and Kelly had each jumped the starting gun by less than a boat length and had a minute added to their time as per unlimited rules. This elevated Liddicote, Bernard, Hopp, and Shane to first, second, third, and fourth positions respectively in the corrected order of finish. For the unexpectedly victorious Liddicote, the Doha win with Valken.com was his first ever as an unlimited driver. Throughout the 2011 season, there were many references to a long and successful career for the Suffolk, Virginia resident, who wrapped up the season by saying, it's not the way I would have liked to win the first one, but I'll take it. It's been a great year, and this just topped it.